feel honored to be able to share the stage with greatness. There's this, uh, I was terrified about six months ago or so when I started uh, thinking about coming up here to do this. Speaking isn't something that was, was came natural to me, but the more I've, I've got to meet Sandy and, and hear, you know, her, her spirit, her passion, and then uh, getting to know about you folks, uh, you other speakers here, and, and the mission and the purpose, it just, it's like, I gotta be a part of this. I've got, I've got something to share. I'll tell you a little bit about me uh, before we, we get started with, with the, the presentation. In 2014, uh, my mentor, uh, I've been with the network marketing company for about three years. And I was, we had, we had achieved a significant rank and I was supposed to be speaking at events and I didn't want to. I was, I was terrified to stand up in front of people. And he, he, he told me, effectively, it was, a re, it was almost a reverse form of pride that I was withholding something that I had to offer that other people might need mm -hmm. because I was more concerned about how I felt about how they would see me. And it oh, got me, convicted me. It, I, I couldn't deny that. So a little bit more time passed by and I've been speaking at events and what I found is that I, I still had this angst that I didn't feel like my voice was coming out. I wasn't quite, I wasn't quite really ready. I didn't, I didn't know what I was supposed to do next, but I, I did realize that I, I, I was developing a message. I started to see how my, my story, my life, the things that had happened to me had actually happened for me. And, and that process started to be revealed and I needed to get leverage on myself. So I joined Toastmasters and uh, you know, connected with Sandy, set this date and put, my, put leverage on myself so I'd have to get better. I'd have to be ready. And so this has been a culmination of, of some plans and, and some goal set, and I hope to share something of value to you guys. Because this process is, this process I've gone through is something that, the more I hear you guys talking, say everybody has a piece of this puzzle of success and dreams and thinking mm -hmm. that, that I, I think cumulatively is it something that can really affect the world, affect our culture, and, and I love that. So my, uh, my concept is, is getting unleashed, getting unleashed from, from fear, from doubt, from pain, from the past, and, and it's, it's, been, it's been a journey. You know, life happens. How many of you guys, when you were starting out, setting out in the world to, to pursue your, your purpose, your passion, your goal? Uh, for me, it was just getting a job back in the day. But start out and, you know, clear sailing. You seem simple enough that, that you're gonna be able to do what it is that you wanna do. I remember when I, I was, 2006, my wife and I were, were, were been married a couple of years, we were expecting our first child. We're manifesting the American dream, moving into our brand new home. And this was, this was, everything would seem great. But we closed on our home on October 30th, 2006. And if you look at the charts, you might see that that's like right approximately when the housing market started yep. to tank, right there. So, so much for, for that. And as, as you know, there's, you know, these things don't necessarily work out like we're thinking. I had my plans, you know, God had other plans for me and it got better. I hurt my back at work. I've been working in the telecom industry, doing large business, government data services, and it required me to be physical, to you know, be out there in the field, carrying stuff, lifting, walking, climbing, and things like that. And, and I was worried about being able to walk. It was hard, I had a hard time standing up. It gets better, you know, but wait, there's more, right? Mm -hmm. I got transferred to a new position at work that I didn't know if I'd be able to do my job. I didn't know if I, I, I had to learn this on the fly, I being held the standards of accountability, I, it was just, I was scared of being able to keep my job. So I've done everything I thought I was supposed to do and here the earth is changing beneath me. The economy is not what I needed it to be. My employer is not what it needed to be. For my plans to work, all these things had to go, my health had to keep up. Well, so I was kind of backed into a corner, I guess. I felt like I was, I was backed into a corner. And uh, this is one of those defining moments where I can either become one of those people who live lives of quiet desperation, where I can come out swinging. And I had to do something different. I didn't know it at the time, but I was entering this process of learning, learning principles that at the time, again, I didn't see it. All I saw was a struggle, but it was, I was engaging in this process that would change everything forever. And I want to preface this, some of these principles with uh, a story, 